A Kansas City mother is calling for action after her five year old was hit by a car. She blames bad street design. It happened in Midtown on Armor Boulevard as kids were walking to school. Fox Force Reagan Porter joins us from Children's Mercy Hospital tonight where that five year old girl is recovering. Let's start with the little girl, Reagan. How is she doing tonight? The five year old's mother tells me she's been through one surgery and will likely have to have another. Amira has a broken leg, but her mother tells me she is recovering well. Somebody was going to end up getting hit and unfortunately it was my daughter. Katie McDonald believes Armored Boulevard is unsafe. She says drivers can't see pedestrians and pedestrians can't see cars until it's too late. There's a bike lane separating the sidewalk and the place where cars can park. And it's horrible and there's been like three or four wrecks like just in the past month. So it's happening all the time. Wednesday morning, just after 7:30, McDonald and her three kids were walking to school. McDonald with her one year old in a carrier and three year old on the other side, holding hands with Amira. I was like, hurry, let's go because you can't see when you're trying to cross the street. Like you got to step directly into traffic. So we're going and she rushes and the car hits her. Amira has a broken leg, fractured jaw and her teeth went through her lip. It's horrible. My kids have come home and told me more times than I can count. Wow, I had a really close call. I almost got hit. Chrissy Dastrup says her 11 year old saw Amira get hit. They called 911 and ran to help. Neighbors want to see a change. Ryan Yao says he's seen close calls between cars, pedestrians and cyclists at the crosswalk. He'd like to see more signage. There needs to be something more for his drivers to see, more visibility that they need to stop because you're just relying on their um, their willingness to. Councilman Eric Bunch wishes Amira a quick recovery and says he supports multimodal transportation. Bunch also said in a statement to Fox 4, we are actively looking into the design of this street with our staff and will review that in conjunction with crash data from KCPD for this area. Working for you, we asked KCPD about that crash data. They're working on retrieving it. Something has to be done or somebody else is going to get hit or somebody's going to get killed or, or worse. Now, mom tells me Amira will be in a wheelchair for the next six weeks doing physical therapy as well. They hope to be back home soon. Lauren.